Yeah, it ain't great. It ain't great. I don't think they. I don't think they're too terribly concerned about three or third eye getting that dub. But uh, you know, uh, look at look at all the space actually. Third eye. This? It's like it's like after they after they got the hot drop on on power grid, they just spread out everywhere. And now do we have another oh, one? A free fi friendly fire. Friendly fire. Right? Okay, no friendly fire. Just they're just going for a vehicle. They'll be fine. Ah! Ooh, get in. Maybe or not. Maybe they'll Whatever. be fine. Yeah. I, I hopefully I was maybe that this was four vehicles, but if they're staking around here. Then maybe not, but let's look at circle number one. Oh my god, they actually want. Oh my god, Necro actually. That, that scared me. I didn't expect to hear that. That's sharp shot taken down immediately. Zero zero nation. They do have that high ground. No shots coming through just yet. And this is what I was looking at. LG making that wrap through Los Leones. They're coming right through Sonics. H point will spot out Kickstart. The shots come through. The knock will find its way as well. Shrimzy gonna get it. Kickstart's gonna go down pre 10 minutes. And fantasy odors everywhere cry. Yeah, I think Zero Zero Nation too, but they're caught up in an engagement with Funny Business. Dynamic Ooh. looped up for the East, got north of Fiumba, but they're going to be running into a similar situation. Sonics and LG both with a number of guns trained right onto oh, their man. position. And well, if a gun doesn't work, a grenade surely will do the trick. Just imagine a line here with Sonics and LG dynamic in a very rough position. LG did lose Kickstart earlier, but it does not look like that's slowing them down at all as the grenade will find Lister, Snakers will find Delta, dynamic down to two. LG have to reposition just a little bit to avoid the line of sight of Sonics. They'll find Clemson now as well. And Luminosity trying to make the hard push. You can see the fire coming from range from Shrimzy. Camborghini the last one up. He's trying to hold the line. Rello will find the angle though, and that's four kills in the pocket of luminosity yeah there's no reason for synergy to overcommit to this they know how much real estate they control on the southwestern side they can pull back and force zero zero nation to push into them and if they're lucky they may get uh systematicos give them a little bit of assistance here as unfortunately troglodytus will get spotted out and that will do it for them as Rusty Zero will be the one who goes down to the blue zone. Now, Friendly Fire is getting a little bit of pressure from Systematicos and from Third Eye. Corsak is down. Roth and Maji now on the clock. Oh, and they're getting shot by a couple of other teams as well. This circle, we haven't seen the map yet, but it is going to be a pretty hard shift towards the east and all these western teams. Oh, they have a big transition ahead of them if they can survive this all out brawl oh, she's set on fire he's gonna have to heal up and this is giving third eye all the space that they need to take this ridge eventually take him out and then try and slingshot themselves into the zone just no good angles for friendly fire to hold nothing is safe maji dancing around the one piece of hard cover in that bowl he can find and he is doing some damage but third eye in the end will make short work as a uh, Looks like Zero Zero Nation also taking care of Systematicos. Systematicos just quick 3v4 there. Very well played here for Zero Zero Nation as they're showing up in the final game of the day. This is three quarters of Team Brazil. We saw what they could do at PNC. Let's see what they could do here in the final game of the PUBG America series here on day number one. They do have that hard cover, as you said, but now the fight going on between Synergy and Elevate on the south side. Synergy, once again, just still very split up. They ran into Elevate. I'm not sure if they were the ones that pushed in or if Elevate, Elevate was the one doing the pushing, but all of a sudden, Ali RV, the final player remaining for his team, Honey Badger, will go for the res onto Ethan while Hikerman holds off the final player in pink. SG reviving, but they're reviving in the blue and they're going to have a long run themselves. It might be curtain to them. And yeah, whether they intended to or not, they are going to be going down to the blue. The last few members, they're eliminated in ninth place. Top eight placement points are kicking in. And third eye, all four deep in a single Jeep, like they're going on a camping trip, but there's oh, no. nowhere to go to pitch their tent. This is what we were worried about for all of these teams on the north side. Everything has been clogged up on this north and western side and just like that third eye gets eliminated lfp gonna be the one to get the last bullet in to adam let me hop in bro just don't fucking die to green bro whatever line you drive do not die to green wait, wait, oh, wait, i'm gonna, I'm gonna check my line real quick okay we literally just drive literally straight over this bro, I swear we can i swear this warehouse just follow is clear, me just, just follow no, it's me. not the guy was on the ridge recently yeah, do the shock. just don't die to the shock on your right I'm dead, probably. Just uh, hit this wall, hit this wall. I'm dead. Get in the cubby, the cubby's the best spot. There's a guy in it. 
Oh, there's a guy. It's SDK running. Get in the SDK cubby, running. Get in the cubby, Drake. Get in the cubby. Get in the cubby. Get in the cubby. It's gonna be one of compound. It's gonna be one of compound. 100%. Bro, I'm not safe in the cubby. Empty. Fuck. That's so it's gonna be one stupid. of compound. Oh, unfortunate stuff there for Snakers and the rest of LG as they try to make the push. They found the solo from STK and Purdy Curdy holding strong with a little bit of support off the north side from Zero Zero Nation. Yeah, good hold the grenade and just back away the fadeaway, just deleting the survivors of LG. You got to give it up to LG, though. There wasn't a lot of options for them because everyone, everyone at some point is going to have to go into that field actually decimate the one giving them support. I'm sorry, get a little confused there. And now they're turning their attention over towards the aforementioned Zero Zero Nation, who is down to just LFP. But you can see Haven has zeroed in on his team or former teammate, I believe, is that will do it for Zero Zero Nation. But a big game for them and a big come up, 11 kills as they climb up the leaderboard. Yeah. So ninth place, and they might not be holding on to that for much longer because Decimate and Elevator are knocking at their doorstep. And as I say that, Pretty Curdy actually leaving that uh, building that he was in and pulling back towards his teammate. Meanwhile, Decimate gonna have to try to send it through the open fields. And this is the last thing you wanna do. They will lose one, but it looks like, oh, I speak too soon. Decimate is out in fifth place. We are down to your top four. Yeah, Penta with that position that he just found, holding the line, getting the first knock, and if, well, Sonic didn't get the kill, that grenade likely would have. Birdie does get knocked. Alo, I think, is going for the revival. Penta's giving some covering fire. Can't land too many shots, but it's still providing pressure and hopefully giving the room and the timing for the revive to come on in. But what are Elevate going to do? But they end up pulling it off here as Sonics turn their attention back towards their south side. Fiumba trying to escape the last round will miss. And Capitan and Fiumba, they're going to clean up Ethan. One more up for Elevate. Hikerman hiding in the smoke. He's got next to no HP left. Capitan just waiting for him to show his face. The flashbang comes through. It's going to be a little too far. Capitan gets the kill. It's one more in the bag for Fiumba. Can't. He could actually get this res on the Emmy, I think. Oh. And yeah, he's going to go for it. There it is. If he sticks, it's got the cover of the smoke with the blues coming in. They're going to have to push just a little bit forward. So I don't know if they can get any more points off of that, but it was still a really, really good show by Capitan. Saw the flash come out, knew he just needed to hold that angle. He wasn't going to be blinded, but what can he do now? Running out to the open. Who's going to pick this kill up? It's going to be Shrimzy once again. SQ up to seven kills. And now the battle of heavyweights. It's not Sonics and LG this time. It's STK and Sonics. Tail as old as time, 4v4. Right now, Mime holding down that hard cover that's closest to Kurt, and Kurt is taking so much damage. Oh, yeah, and that damage was called because Mime pulls out a grenade to try and finish that off. It's going to be Kurt going down, which means Sonics now with a four versus three advantage. It is looking even stronger in their favor, and not only that, Purdy Curdy being down gives Mime even more space to be a huge nuisance. Oh, and a fresh smoke for Mime. Shrimzy will find Penta as he tries to peek around the edge. Mime will get knocked low. STK, Vegas will get knocked. It's all down to Alo. He's got a tree to his name. He's got the blue in his back. He will lie on his belly to see if he can maybe get one point off of this, but the grenades are going to get him low, and Shrimzy will wrap it up. Sonics clutches their fist and finishes off shoot to kill. I'm gonna die for less, y'all. I pray my dick is the apple time. So I can fuck my world for 72 hours.